I should say there's a wide variance across the country in whether or not surgeons have weight limits restrictions and high BMI type restrictions. At the Gender Confirmation Center in San Francisco, we do not have such restrictions. We have done many, many high BMI patient surgeries for top surgery. I should mention that for bottom surgery and other body types, that's another question, but this question is about top surgery. So we don't have a BMI or a weight limit restriction. When a patient has made a honest effort to improve their surgical risk by reducing their weight as much as they reasonably can, and yet they've plateaued and surgery is medically necessary, as it most commonly is for gender surgery, then we're willing to move forward with top surgery, and we will always do it above a certain BMI and with certain health parameters in a hospital setting. We are fortunate that we haven't seen issues with this. We haven't seen issues with airway emergencies or interoperative emergencies as of you know December of 2023, when this is being recorded. We have done BMIs into the 60s. And so there's no weight limit and no BMI limit at the GCC, but there are other surgeons out there that feel differently. I can say that there's other plastic surgery procedures like tummy tucks that have a really high complication rate when you do surgery with a high BMI. And so I think some of that like lore has made it into a perception about top surgery. But we at our practice have not seen problematic complications at higher BMIs for the, for the techniques we use. Now, how would surgery be a little bit different? Well, it's not that different, but I would say that we would probably extend the incisions further Generally, if there's a lot of tissue, then there's some, some tissue that's in the outer chest and maybe all the way kind of close to the back area. And so you might have longer incisions. I have seen there be a little bit of a challenge in terms of symmetry. When there's more tissue to be removed, there is more possibility of skin elasticity being a little different on the two sides, or maybe the surgeon removing a little bit more or less on one side or another in spite of their best efforts. And so I think symmetry can be challenging at higher weights. I do think, and I think most patients know, that it's sensible to lose as much weight as one reasonably can before surgery for safety and also for the reliability of the result. Having said that, it is also true that there may just be a realistic limit of what can be removed. And, and it is, in our opinion at the GCC, not a reason to withhold surgery when somebody has understood these goals, understood the potential risks of having surgery at a larger BMI. So no BMI limit and no body weight limit, but we certainly are very careful in terms of medical screening and in terms of the safety and legitimacy of the environment in which we're willing to operate for larger sized individuals. Mm -hmm.